with her hands clasped together. Carmen Moulton hopes her prayers will be answered. She remains for now in the room that she awoke in, a room deep within a manor. A manor that seems to be filled with both the living dead and those still not completely turned. Frenzied folk that still have their wits about them, that can open doors and wield weapons. Dangerous indeed, considering the people that resided in this mansion and that now linger here were harboring dark secrets before the cataclysm came. But we can only remain here for so long, Carmen. We need to get up and go. We need to see what lays beyond. Let us dive on in. Kyolda Legionnaires, Rikon here, and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, and to our short survival series, and to the wild tale that is Carmen's. We're still in this bloodied room, not knowing what awaits us outside, but judging by the flood of servants and zombies that came in the last, we can only expect it to be, well, not great. <laughs> so we're going to want to be as prepared as we possibly can be for out there. And while we are still wielding this rapier, I don't think it's going to be something that we hold on to long term. We're going to be leaving that behind. And also, we do have another kind of double up here. We have this fitness band, but we also have this platinum watch, which we don't really need. We were wearing it originally as part of a cover, and that cover is long gone. Let's see if we have any other conflicts. These glove liners that we have on are conflicting with our long gloves. Looking at our hands, um, obviously, the long gloves have better coverage, and they have a little bit better bash and cup protection they also cover our arms as well so i think we're going to leave the glove liners behind in favor of just using them and that way we don't have any conflicts that's good <laughs> and now we need a weapon the chef's knife i am partial to but the butcher's knife does a little bit more damage what we can do is hit shift i and we can compare the two of them this way we can see that Yes, it does more damage. It takes a little bit longer to hit, and it also takes a little bit more stamina. Hmm. The chef's knife might be more efficient, yet the damage that's on there makes me want to stick with the butcher's knife instead. I mean, we'll be able to keep the chef's knife with us, no problem. But I think the butcher's knife, that's going to be our stabby, stabby weapon to begin with. Yes. Okay, all right. Footsteps or shuffling? Shuffling. Shuffling means zombie. I don't think there's a zombie that close. Sound is not the easiest thing to track in this game. It very well could be coming from down here. But we do need to move. Anyway. We have this place to return to, should we need to. But we can't stay in here forever. Let's move. We're gonna have to drag that dresser out the way. We're gonna wait a moment. Okay. The noise did stir up something. Okay. Now, we could crouch. We could. Or we could just stay walking. Our light step still makes us pretty quiet. Let's see how quiet. One is pretty good in my books. <laughs> we have an unknown space to the north of us. We're just going to do little increments. Little steps little peeks to see what's going on out in this wild and wacky world. So far so good. We can hear some more noise. Okay. Hi. An armored feral. Doesn't sound fun. No, it isn't. Clad in ancient armor. With a mace in hand, this maniac walks around in search of their next prey. You can see stains of dried blood all over their mace. We don't want anything to do with that. The butcher's knife that we have, yeah, it doesn't do any damage to armored targets. Zero. We would not be able to damage this even if we wanted to. It is also faster than us, so we're going to have to run to try and see if we can outpace it here. So, that's great. A feral servant to the north. Let's go somewhere else then. We've got a door to the south. We've got a number of boxes in here which could have items that we would need to survive, but we do not have time to check them. 
slamming into the door. We're going to get it closed right away. Because there's a servant following us, it is going to be able to open the door. Oh, and the armored feral is the first one here. Wonderful. Yet another door. That's a little bit of space between us and our foes. And now we need to flash our light. See what's ahead. We've got a zombie. Okay. And we've got a door to the south and an open door to the east. We're going to turn our light off again. And we're going to continue to run. Keeping our ears open. It's got us grabbed. We're going to need to fight this thing. Okay. We're going to take damage no matter what here. But we're not going to be able to break this grab. We're stabbing it good though. Just keep on going. Maybe one more good strike. There we go. We'll take that. But our right arm is bleeding. A little bit of damage on there. Looking at the corpse of this zombie. There's a smartphone. But that's all that we can really make use of from it. We're going to grab it regardless. And we're going to keep on moving down here. They haven't opened the doors behind us yet. Which is kind of a miracle. So let's take a second. We're going to have to drop the butcher's knife on the ground. And we're going to put pressure on our right arm. The bleeding stopped. Let's get the knife back. And we're just going to take a second. To get a little bit of stamina back. Turning on safe mode. And just waiting. Waiting and hoping. That we're going to be okay here. Somehow. That armored feral chose not to follow us. That or we broke line of sight quick enough that it didn't think to follow us through the door. I'm not sure what the case is, but either way, I'm happy. We're going to continue to peek. Well, I suppose we don't really need to peek until we hit this corridor, do we? Alright. Tiles. Bathroom, maybe? Okay. Interesting. What have we got in here? Alcohol wipes, antiseptic, vitamins, cough syrup, um, kind of good if we need it. The aspirin though, that's just universally going to be useful. Soap bar, sure, if we can fit it, we'll use it. And we have distracting pain right now, so we're going to go and knock back an aspirin to hope that it's going to help. We're hearing some shuffling from the south, okay? So the south might not be the right place for us. We'll keep that in mind, and we're going to carry on. And we're just going to start to peek up towards our north. Okay, another open door. All right. Pull a shirt and some underwear. Anything else? No. All right. And more noise from our north. Shuffling. That's a zombie. Okay. Let's just go nice and slow. Maybe over towards this next open door. So far, so good. Storage. Okay. I want to see down the bottom first. Okay. What have we got there? So, a broom, a dust mask, a toilet plunger, some salt water, and a pillowcase. The dust mask might be something that we need down the line. We'll pick it up for now, but it's not a necessity for us. We're hearing a lot more shuffling around, I think. Yep. Okay. Let's just take this really nice and slow using the darkness while we can and hoping that our light step is going to uh, make us much harder to detect I know that this is like painstakingly slow but right now we can't really take any chances we've got a locked door and an open door right next to each other probably lead to the same place we're going to leave that for now we're going to start to head back towards the east and just see what we got going on there more shuffling Definitely seeing a zombie around here somewhere. Just take it bit by bit. Safe mode will alert us. Okay. <laughs> and it kind of hasn't, but there is a zombie right in front of us. If we try and move, it will alert us. So, what do we want to try and do with this thing? We don't want to get into the situation that we just dealt with, with it grabbing us. If we can stay running and stabbing, that would be great. So let's go like that. Stab and run. Stab and run. Oh, we're being grabbed. Come on, man. All right. Spinning around. Oh, okay. We've got brawling. Let's get some brawling going. I completely forgot to check. Well, let's just keep on poking. 
And we're gonna take some damage here. No two ways about it. Come on. Oh, and we're hearing more noises from the south. It's nearly dead. And there we go. We got it. Let's slow back to a walk. Let's see if it had anything worthwhile. Cigarette pack. Nothing to light them with. And a plastic bag. What do you got in there? Cotton balls. That's good. And the smartphone's in there as well. Cigarettes we're not going to worry about. But the cotton balls... We can actually use that on one of our wounds now. Man, our right arm is not looking good. Yet another smartphone, we'll pick it up. And the pork sticks, you know, it's actual food. The wallet, let's see if there's anything interesting hiding in there. I don't think so, no. So we'll just take those for the time being. We hear shuffling. Ignore it. Okay, man, this is not good. We're gonna have to take some more aspirin. It's unmanageable pain now. Let's use the cotton balls. We're gonna use that on our right arm. Very poor condition, but we got it done. Let's make sure that this body stays dead. <sighs> okay. Now, this is where it gets trickier. Trying to carry on while we're in this kind of condition, not easy. We'll leave safe mode off for now because it's not really making much of a difference for us. We got an open door. Let's start to get closer. We could flash our light at any time we want. But I think it's going to be safer for us to just try and navigate like this for now, if we can. Just little steps at a time. We've got some boxes. Long underwear top. That's not going to help us. And those aren't going to help us either. Let's just see if we hear any shuffling. We don't at the moment. So that means that we're probably okay. And I think this is another room clear. Yes. Camisole. All right, let's start to make our way to the north. Don't know what's in here. Okay, I thought the chair was a zombie for a second. Look, I'm, my nerves are on edge here. What do we got? Um, clean water and swimming gloves. We're gonna take the water. We're hearing something over there behind us. Footsteps, damn it. Okay, that means that we've probably got someone semi alive in here with us. That fur hat ain't bad. It could offer us a little bit of extra protection right now, but I don't think we can take the time to wear it. Let's maybe close these doors. Okay. Oh boy. Feral servant. You are just wielding a broom though. I think we're gonna have to try and fight you. What's in here? A bike helmet. That's worth fighting over. If we can get that on our head, it'll give us a fair amount of protection. I mean, yeah, that bash, cut, and bullet protection is really nice. So, we're going to try and see if we can kind of move back the way that we were going. Damn it. We don't want to get grabbed. We just want to continue to poke and move. Critical's nice. Let's keep on doing that. Just moving back as we go. This is good damage, bad bleeding. Come on. Starting to get out of breath. Let's stop missing. That's good. Come on. Keep coming for us. They're a little slower now because they're quite injured. That's it. That's it. Another dead. Slow to a walk. See if they had anything. Still no shoes that fit us. Let's get that breath back. We'll turn safe mode on for a moment. And just wait. See if we drew anything else to us. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, how's that bandage doing? All right. Our head is still bandaged, our torso isn't. Could use our cotton ball on that, or we could use it on our leg, which is more injured right now. Let's do it. Okay. And pain, still unmanageable. We are under the influence of painkillers. We don't want to overdose on them though. Maybe one more. Knock it back. Okay. And now, I gotta hope that that was the only thing in here. Let's move back towards where that bike helmet was, though. I want that on our head. Another dust mask. Doesn't fit well. And we're looking okay. Our torso is a little encumbered at the moment. Our cotton hat and our bike helmet are conflicting. Probably don't need to have the cotton hat on right now. It's a little damaged as well. We'll take it off. 
And now we'll just start to slowly peek our way around this space, hoping that we are bloody alone in here. We could also flash the light for a moment. Let's do it. Okay, we're not alone. We're not alone. There is a zombie in here, and it is aware of us. It's seen us. It's up to the northeast. We might be able to navigate around this space without engaging it. We still have speed. We can use that when we need to. Folding table there. Okay. We hear shuffling. Let's just get ready to move away from where it saw us. And now let's just start to run. It is moving with the shuffle, so we should be able to well outpace it. We didn't see down here though. That's the only issue. We're going to slow back down to a walk. We have a stick and a few chairs in the corner of the room. We need to check the rest of these boxes. If there's anything else worthwhile taking here, we're going to take it. What's that? Cast iron frying pan. Okay. Hold the top. And a fire extinguisher. Ba backpack. Yes, backpack. And a lunchbox with a banana and a freaking cheeseburger. Okay, um, we're just going to wear that whole backpack. We'll deal with it in a moment. And this is where the zombie was. What do we got up here? Faux fur hat, some leather gloves. The gloves would be nice if we had a chance to make them actually fit us. We don't have that time. I also... There's no way out this room. Well, rather, a way out isn't in this room. We need stairs. We need to get out of this basement. But we also... We don't want to rush it. If we rush it, then we run the risk of getting overwhelmed and dying early. We don't want that. We really don't. We could probably do with a better weapon than the butcher's knife that we've got. The stick that's over in the corner, we could file that down into a pointy stick. Is it going to be a better weapon than a butcher's knife? No, I, I don't think so. The issue right now is the pain that we're feeling. So if we could get somewhere that's even relatively safe, like this room isn't that bad. If we can wait in here for a little while, we might be able to get our pain under control so that we can deal with this zombie that's in here. And then once we deal with that, we have a little bit more um, space available to us. It sounds like it's right down there though. So we're just gonna keep on moving around, paying close attention to where it is. And if we need to, we can always just run around for a bit. Okay, we've got it coming up towards us now, I think. Um, let's see. Oh, what is that? A bondage lycra bodysuit. It's poor fitting, but it might actually... <laughs> let's have a look and see what it does in the way of protection. Ah, uh, it's, it's, it's not great. It's only two. I mean, it's, it's lycra. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the leather version, I feel like would be much more protective. I think we might have done this. Let's see. Oh boy, not quite, not quite. It's still there. All right, time to run. Time to try and see if we can bring it around this way here. I mean, we could try and kill it. Distressing pain. We can see how we're being affected by our pain up the top. I mean, our strength, our dexterity, everything like that is lower, but also our speed is lower as well. That's the main thing that we're concerned about. That zombie is much slower than us. We could try and bleed it out. We just don't want to get grabbed. That's the issue here. Okay, it's on the table. I don't think it's going to stay there. Or it is. Okay, and we've been grabbed. Come on. Yeah, we don't have the strength to break this grab. We're just going to have to fight. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. That is damage that I did not want to take. We need to stop that bleeding on our torso. Okay. But we're by ourselves now. There's no one else here. At least for the moment. Did you have anything worthwhile? A messenger bag? A restaurant guide? Walcott. So that must be what we're close by. You do have motorcycle boots though. They're a bit more protective than what we're wearing. We might be able to clear them. They're poor fitting though as well. Everything is poor fitting. We're going to take the restaurant guide because that can tell us a little bit more about the area that we're around, but really that's that's not going to make much of a difference, is it? No. What we need to do is just rest at this point. Try to. I'm looking at the couches that are up the top. That's not a bad spot for us to try and rest. Ideally, we're going to need to bandage up more though. Um, we've got a bandage on our leg. 
our left leg, our right arm, there is nothing on there anymore. So we're gonna need to deal with that. Let's just wait. We're gonna catch our breath first of all. And then we need to try and track down the other clothing that is around here. Sorry, that shift just kind of spooked me. The halter top, we're gonna have to try and take that apart. Actually, it was t-shirts, wasn't it? So the polo t-shirt, I think we'd be able to get what we need from that. I mean, we can still see though, right? Oh, that we can't see, but we will see what it can do. We've got a number of smartphones here. We just need to use one of them to be able to turn on that flashlight and give us enough sight. All right, the dust mask will give us a cotton patch, but not a cotton sheet. And it doesn't look like we can even take the halter top apart. So let's not worry about that then. We'll turn off that smartphone. Oh, and we're gonna need to bash you to make sure that you're gonna stay dead. Let's head back to that polo shirt. Makes me a little bit nervous in doing so. Actually, you know what? Let's have a look at you first. Turning on that flashlight. We actually need a cutting tool to be able to take that one apart. Do we not have anything that can do that now? Well, it makes me nervous, but I think we're gonna have to go back at least to the polo shirt. We need a bandage. Easy does it. Okay. Yeah, got a little bit of light. There we are. Patchwork cotton sheet. That's what we want. Polo shirt, take it apart. There we go. Let's make our bandages. Three of them, thank you. You're hearing shuffling from down below. And I think we've got those bandages in our inventory now. Yes, we do. Okay, light off. Yeah, we know that there's definitely some kind of zombie presence down that way. At least over here, we are semi-okay. I just want to double check this corner here, the creepy mannequins, and maybe down here as well. Yep, nothing hiding. Nothing in that box. I mean, we can hide in boxes as well. That's something that we can do. Let's just hang out back over here. We can potentially practice if we hit all the way. Oh, and we can make a Molotov. Okay. Denatured alcohol, cotton patch, and a glass bottle. Oh boy. Okay. Well, you know, that might be a direction that we have to go down, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, eh? What I was going to say is that we could try to practice bandaging. There is a catastrophic failure chance. I, I wouldn't want to waste a bandage, but if we could get our health care above one, that means that our bandaging quality would go from very poor to poor, which does make a difference when it comes to healing long term. I think what we do before anything else is that we use an alcohol wipe on our right arm just to make it heal a little bit faster. Same thing with our torso. We keep at least one of those though, so that we, you know, make sure that we have one. Because if we get a deep bite or something like that, we want to be able to take care of it. Antiseptic can do that as well. But let's go and bandage first our right arm, and then we're going to do our torso. After that, I'm okay with the spending a little bit of time trying to see if we can improve our quality of first aid. We're going to take one more aspirin though for our pain. And then let's have a look at these smartphones. We could also use a candle. No, we need a source of fire for that. Let's just stick to the smartphones. We'll go for one of the 8% ones. See if that'll work. It does. And jump it back into practice. Bandaging. Beginner. Let's start. Okay. Let's keep on practicing. Oh, and we do need to be able to see. That one is completely dead. Okay. All right. Turn on the flashlight again. And let's get back to it. Proficiency has increased. There we go. All right, let's stop practicing. And we can probably go and turn that light off. We're not gonna be able to use it again, but we can use the phone for other purposes. So now if we were to bandage one of our wounds with the makeshift bandage that we have left, like if we were to do the left leg again, oh, it's, it's gonna be very poor no matter what. <laughs> okay, well, that's fine then. You know what? Let's go for our right leg because then we've got bandages on everything and I think we're just gonna have to try and pass some time here we're a little bit on the thirsty side so we can knock back a little bit of that clean water and we're just gonna save the water save the rest of that and then I think we need to do a little bit of a search around here because uh yeah we had access to denatured alcohol among other things a short Santa dress don't think that's gonna help us no Dated alcohol, turpentine, and a grape drink. We're going to drink the grape drink right now just to celebrate. Because, um, yeah, 
we need a little bit of a, a joy boost. The denatured alcohol we're going to grab, that's great. The turpentine, not sure how we'll be able to use that right this second. We do have a lighter though, and a USB drive with Mathemax on it. Useful software, I'm, I'm sure it is. We'll take it for now. The lighter though, that does mean that we can legitimately make a Molotov and use it. Creaming soda, that's nice to see too. A funnel, I don't think we're going to be able to make use of that or make much use of it. Okay, but that's, those must be the last boxes that we haven't checked. We have, we have checked everything else, yeah? Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, before we try and do anything else, fight anything else, we are going to need our limbs to be better than where they are right now. One of the best ways to recover is to sleep. We're not going to be able to sleep right yet though. It's, it's nearly midday, so we have been passing a little bit of time searching around here. But we could try and do other things like working on athletics or even our unarmed combat skill. I mean, that helps if we want to just fight with our fists, but I think we're pretty much always going to want to have a knife in our hand. Oh, we can actually practice melee with just a stick though. And there was a stick down here. Yes, okay, let's wield that stick. We can practice melee. Ah, <laughs> uh, too dark to craft. So we do actually need to be able to see. Oh, no, it's not going to help us. Our melee skill is already one. Yeah, so that's not going to... That's not going to help us. I think we're still going to hold on to this stick though, because we can transform it, carving it into a pointy stick. And we could actually use the candle now. So let's do that. Let's get it lit and let's carve a pointy stick. And then I can decide whether or not that would be a better weapon than our butcher's knife at the moment. And the answer is, hmm, maybe. It does have a blocking ability and it splits its damage between bashing and piercing. The two hit bonus is a little lower, and that's where we really need the assistance right now. Yeah, we might just chalk that up to us spending a bit of time doing something. We can leave that there for now. I think if we have to fight, we'll still be fighting with that knife. But let's think about athletics. I think it would be worth us trying to spend some time getting our athletics better than it is. Yeah, we're in a lot of pain right now, and I'm sure that Carmen really <laughs> doesn't want to work out but it will help us getting our athletics higher is going to help with our stamina overall and we're going to need a lot of stamina to get out of here okay we've already got our athletics up to one we'll stop practicing for now and we'll just check in and see whether or not we are going to be able to get it higher with this this practice action will not increase your athletics above two so can it bring it to two i would think so so let's continue to practice and there we are okay we have athletics too, both theory and practical. We're going to stop practicing there because I'm happy with that. And you know what? We spent a fair bit of time working on that as well. It is now 2.34 in the afternoon. Our limbs haven't really healed at all. And we've probably used a fair amount of that candle. Yeah, but we've still got some charge left. Now for us to get our athletics better, we're going to need some kind of tool, some kind of training tool. But because I'm still wanting to try and just best for us in general we're going to spend another hour working on unarmed combat if we get disarmed we want to be able to fight and that's got our proficiency up to one we are going to stop practicing and then we're going to check back in yeah it's not going to get any better than one but that's still okay we do have stats through skills on and you can see that there is a slight increase to dexterity and intelligence and our perception that's coming from the various different skills that we have to simulate us getting better over time. It's one of the types of growth and cataclysm that I really think is necessary for you to see that progression over time. But because we've only just learned these, we can have them disappear rather quickly. We gotta hope that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Let's snuff out that candle for now because I don't think there is much else that we can really do. In all honesty, sleeping or trying to sleep could be the best thing for us. To be able to get a little bit of our damaged limbs back under control. And so we're going to let some time pass. We're not going to set an alarm. And, oh boy. Yup. Come and fell asleep right away. Somehow finding comfort here on this sofa. And we wake up. 6.38. We've had a little bit of time to heal. Her right arm is better. She is in minimal pain. We are suffering from a little bit of hunger. You know what? 
let's just chow back on that cheeseburger. Shelf life on that was less than everything else. And checking on our wounds here, we can see that our left leg is no longer considered um, bandaged. So it really would be nice to have some more bandages. We do have some large sheets that we should be able to take apart. It's gonna take time for us to be able to do that, but we're trying to burn time right now. Let's light up that candle again. And, oh yeah, no, that's very useful. Eight seconds to take that sheet apart, and we find we have the ability to make many bandages now. 12 of them, let's make them all. Practicing isn't gonna help us much at this stage, so we're just gonna have to go and reapply that. There we go, left leg. And our head currently doesn't have anything, so there we are. Oh, and we can see that we got a poor quality bandage on that. We're getting a little bit better. And our left arm also isn't covered, so we'll get that done. Also poor. Everything else is done. Now we snuff out the light again and pass time. Okay. We've been asleep. Well, not, not really. <laughs> We've been tossing and turning for a very long time. And we've just heard some shuffling. It was enough to kind of startle us. We can hear it from down here, which is definitely disturbing. We shouldn't be hearing anything from down that way. We can very quickly check to see if there's any issues by turning on a light. We don't see anything there. Are we hearing something upstairs then maybe? It's a possibility. Thankfully, we don't have any pain right now. So that's been going away. Oh yeah, no, we're definitely, we're definitely hearing stuff from here, shuffling from here. I don't think we are. I don't think we're hearing that. That's concerning. Or if we are, it's, you know, traveling downstairs. Now, we've got a little bit of a hunger and a thirst issue at the moment. We're going to have some of that clean water and we've spotted a zombie. What? Yes, stop. Were you hiding... Did I? You're injured. You've revived at some point. Oh boy. Um, okay. Right. Time for us to, uh, step back. We need to wield our butcher's knife. Hello, zombie? Are you still there? Where are you? You're in the freaking cardboard box, aren't you? Well, you were. It's making its way on over towards us. It's seen us. It's very, very slow. Okay. There we go. 11 damage. That's nice. But not enough yet. There we go, a little bit more. And that's actually got our practical and theoretical knowledge of piercing weapons up, which is very good to see. And there we are. It's dead. Okay, that's... Yeah, okay. Where did you come from? You had a tuxedo, a broom. We didn't bash a body. That's what I'm thinking. That's got to be the case. Also, the doors are open down there. Oh... It was the worker, one of the feral servants, came back to life. So that's a confirmation for you there, Carmen. <laughs> now you know. Now let's finish drinking that clean water. We'll, we'll turn off our light for now, though. There we are. And we're going to eat that banana. Lovely. Finally, let's have that creaming soda. Still thirsty. Oh, that's unfortunate. It does take a little while for your thirst to go down. We may just have to wait. There is water down here. We can get some of it from the toilet. That is if it isn't frozen though. It can be, even this late in spring. And of course, drinking it just as it is isn't always the uh, smartest idea. You know what? We're going to unload the salt water from that bottle just so that we can actually have another bottle along for the uh, journey. There we go. We'll take that, thank you. Well, I'm happy with how that combat went. And because we aren't in pain right now, we could push on, even though we do have damaged limbs. Having that extra skill in piercing weapons means that we're going to hit more often. But ideally, we're going to keep on avoiding combat where we can. Now we don't know what's on the other side here. Footsteps, rather than shuffling. It means that there is something alive on the other side. I'm just trying to get a better scope of the place. We also heard shuffling down there. Zombies I'm a little bit more comfortable with than the servants because the servants, well, as we know, they can open doors and 
We'd rather they didn't do that. And also they're fast, they can chase us down, whereas the zombies, they struggle with that. Let's continue down this way for a little bit. Hi, where did you come from? You're also injured. You're someone that we didn't put down properly. Okay, we back up. You come towards us. We continue to back up. Come on. No more misses, that's good. All right, 12 damage. You're nearly dead. There we go. Let's make sure this time. Nothing on the floor that we're gonna want from you. The cigarettes, maybe. We'll keep them with us for now. And let's just slow our pace again. Going slower now. <sighs> yep, there's definitely something on the other side of this door. How bad is it gonna be though? Is it a shuffle? It's a shuffle. Okay, and we instantly have a zombie there. We just need to start to back up. Taking a strike, and we've been grabbed. Okay. <laughs> not fast enough. I'm still not confident enough in us breaking this grab. So, I think we just have to strike. That is a deep bite on our left leg. But thankfully, we have some antiseptic. We're going to go and apply that to the left leg. All right. Bit by piece, we work through. A telescoping umbrella, a backpack. We've got our own now. We don't need to worry about that. But there is a camera, and that camera has a battery. We're going to take that, and we're going to smash this body. And then we're going to slow our roll yet again. We're in mild pain at the moment. Let's take some aspirin. We do not want to become addicted to painkillers, though. It's something that we need to be mindful of. I want to move over to the loo just for a moment. Let's see, there is water in there now. Okay, let's start to make our way back. There's definitely something else in here. Let's just move bit by bit. What have we got here? Okay, counter and food. Food, food, food. There's a lot of food here. There's juice. Okay, let's try and see if we can get rid of our thirst. Pineapple juice, let's knock it back. We hear some shuffling. We're not going to stop consuming. That's good. Still a little thirsty. Let's see if we can take it with us. Let's take the protein shake, take the pineapple juice. Those will be ours, thank you. And let's just back up here, close that door. And we're just gonna have to try and do this systematically. I don't like that we're dealing with our limbs being as injured as they are. We're not gonna get that much quench from this juice, but it's enough that'll do for now. And then we continue again. Peek a little bit further, okay. Looks like machinery, computers or something like that. All right, there's definitely activity down here. We're hearing wumps from inside this space, which means that we have dead here. Yup, we've got a zombie that's making its way on over towards us now. The consoles don't seem to slow them down at all. Chairs will, and the tables will as well. It can't actually see us at the moment, so we might just be able to continue to move around here. Oh, well, there we go. That's the change. Knows that we're here now. All right. We need to be ready to run, to get some distance. Come over the table towards us, please. I beg of you. We've been grabbed. Another deep wound. That's it. That's enough. We need to recover now. We need to spend time. We'll quickly see what we've got. Walcott roadmap. We're gonna grab it. Oh, come on. And there's a fat zombie here now. Our torso is currently bleeding. We need to try and stop that, but first of all, we need to get out of this room. We need to get going. What's that down there? Nothing. Nothing that we need. We're gonna leave that door closed behind us. We're gonna get up here, and we're gonna deal with this wound. That was too dangerous. That was too risky. We're gonna use the antiseptic on our right leg, which is gonna clean it out. That's good. But we're going to have to do some more bandaging. Our torso, our right leg, it's all not looking that great right now. The antiseptic can help with the healing process, but I feel like we need to keep it with how often we're getting deeper bites and cuts. Let's apply those bandages with a little bit of light. We can use the candle again. We're going to need to. Okay, there we are. We've got it lit. Let's apply those bandages, first of all, to the right arm. 
It looks like we're going to have to do them across the board. They're all missing again. That's okay. We need to do it. This is going to get us better at first aid as well, having to do this so often. That should be everything covered now. Yeah. And it's not a great coverage, but it's enough that we will start to mend as long as we rest. We're going to have to try to. Unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to fully destroy the body that was down there. It will come back to life. But that is another avenue through which we can explore. We know that to the west here, we have more servants. We can hear them walking around. And down here, we have a few other paths we can take to the left and to the right. We've got at least one zombie that's going to revive and one fat zombie in there. But there's a lot of food too. And as long as we have food, we can take our time to recover. That is until we're found. If we stay quiet here, if we keep to ourselves on this couch, we might be able to do that. But as always, it is a risk. And it will take time for our wounds to get better. Sleep will help with that. Right now, there isn't much that we can do to help with sleep. Carmen will just need to wait. And unfortunately, we'll all need to wait to see what happens next, as our time with Carmen has come to an end for today. The progress that she has made throughout this episode may seem small, but in a place as dangerous as this, it is monumental. Every room we enter, we run the risk at becoming overwhelmed. We know that there are enemies down here that we cannot do any damage to. Not with our conventional weapons. We do have one ace up our sleeve though. Fire. Fire kills all. And I feel like Carmen would rather see everyone down here burn than for her to potentially join their ranks. But let's hope it doesn't come to that. Let's hope that we can maybe wield that fire as a controlled weapon. A weapon just like Carmen. Legionnaires, if you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. As for now, I have been Rikon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.